Hi, this is David, and this is a tutorial on generative melodies in Sonic Pi. One of the easiest ways to play a simple melody is this. You just have a play command that is fed a ring with a tick. But this gets very tedious if you want to play longer melodies, because you would have to make this ring longer, and you would have to do it all by hand. So generative melodies are a way to create new and interesting melodies, but you don't have as much control over them. So the first thing you want to change is how this ring is made up. So instead of manually putting in all the values, you use scale, and then you can specify the root, the type of the scale, and also how many octaves you want. And now it just plays a C major scale, which is pretty boring. So instead of the tick, you can use choose to randomize it. So this is all pretty simple, because all the notes have the same length. And to change that, you want to replace the static sleep value and put in another ring. And I like to use knit for this, because it lets me do one very specific thing. And with this code, I can make it play eighth notes, that's the 0 0.5 here. And I can make it play sixteenth notes, and also dotted eighth notes, and quarter notes and I can adjust how often these will appear so if I want a lot of eighth notes I can put this value up and maybe I also want a lot of quarter notes so I'm gonna put this value up also and then of course to go through this ring a simple choose and now it sounds like this And it sounds a lot more interesting now that the rhythm changes. And you can make it more interesting by experimenting with these scales. And as you can see here, Sonic Pi offers a lot of different scales for you to play around with. Super Locrian sounds fun. <laughs> Let's try this. And it will also sound better over some bass. So let's do that. Play just C3. And see how this sounds. And then you can tweak these values here in the knit function. You can also use two octaves or more. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and subscribe for more Sonic Pi tutorials. Thank you for watching.